a very fresh morning my students uh, continuing with our chapter that is our chapter number 13 right till now in this chapter we have discussed the various response of organism to the abiotic factors right and today we will strictly discuss about the adaptations uh, in different organisms or adaptations of different organisms which help them to cope up with different kind of environment right so the our today's topic is the different adaptations now adapt what is an adaptation adaptation is uh, any attribute any uh, characteristic of the organism which can be morphological, which can be physiological, which can be behavioral. So any that particular point of the organism morphologically, physiologically or behavioral, behavioral wise that help the organism to survive and reproduce in its habitat that is called adaptation because sometimes the conditions they are not favorable for the organism so which property which attribute which character either it is a can be morphological type or it can be physiological or it can be behavioral but any one of these they help the organism to survive and reproduce in that particular environment and that is called adaptations now examples of adaptations are we are taking that how you can describe that these adaptations they help the organism to survive and what are these adaptations first is the kangaroo rat kangaroo rat uh, it is found in specifically uh, this uh, uh, north side north america desert and it is found as i say desert and it is in a condition where water is very very less right so you should know the place where you can find this species that is in the north america desert desert the moment i say desert there should be uh, one thing come should come to your mind that where water is very very less now then if water is very very less how does it survive in that area because we are talking about the adaptations so if water is very very less how is it surviving in that area so first thing it survive without drinking water because water already come in. so how it survive without drinking water nobody can survive without drinking water because water is essential for our life so from where it is getting actually water they get water by oxidation of fat and that fat is coming from basically seeds that fat is coming from the diet which it is eating so the moment whatever fat whatever food it is eating by oxidation of that fat it basically compensate its metabolic water or it helps to uh, remove the scarcity of water right so basically uska jo food hai uske food mein jo fat hai wo dheere 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 oxidize hota rehta hai and that provides water so they excrete other things what they do usually to conserve more and more water because water come hai ek to oxidation ho gaya by the oxidation of fat second what they do now if the water already is very less even in the body so they cannot afford losing much amount of water through the urine so they excrete highly concentrated urine always remember bachche jo desert mein rehte hain they are they live in scarcity of water they live in deficiency kind conditions of water so they excrete high concentrated urine and now kangaroo rat it is a mammal 
right so and as well as ureotelic so to eliminate urea significant amount of water is required so what they do during the removal of the urea they concentrate their urine to maximum maximum extent so that water loss is very very less right so basically they excrete highly concentrated urine they do not drink water as well as they get water by the oxidation of fat in their food now another example of adaptation is that is the desert plants right this is called desert plants plants which grow in the dry condition zero phytic plants now how do they adapt themselves how do they uh, what are the main steps that they show different kinds of adaptations now if you look at the plants which grow in the dry conditions their leaves they are almost reduced or they modified into spines बहुत छोटे पतले नीडल लाइक लीव्स होते हैं अब लीव्स के ऊपर बच्चों क्या प्रेजेंट होते हैं स्टोमेटा सो इफ द लीव्स आर रिड्यूज नंबर ऑफ स्टोमेटा विल बी लेस लाइक लेट्स टेक अ एग्जांपल टेक एन एग्जांपल इन विच कैक्टस प्लांट कैक्टस प्लांट इज वेरी कॉमन प्लांट ऑफ विच ग्रो इन ड्राई कंडीशन लाइक ओपनशिया नाउ हियर द लीव्स दे आर मॉडिफाइड इन टू स्पाइंस सो लीव्स ऑलमोस्ट रेड्यूज सरफेस एरिया इज रेड्यूज सो ट्रांसपीरेशन विल बी ऑल्सो मिनिमाइज क्योंकि जितना ज़्यादा सरफेस एरिया उतनी ज़्यादा ट्रांसपीरेशन भी होगा राइट बिकॉज लीव्स दे आर हैविंग स्टोमेटा नाउ लीव्स आर मॉडिफाइड इन टू स्पाइंस दे आर सरफेस एरिया इज रेड्यूज नंबर ऑफ स्टोमेटा विल बी लेस सो डेफिनेटली ट्रांसपीरेशन इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू मिनिमाइज सो लीव्स आर रेड्यूज इट मीन्स हु इज परफॉर्मिंग द स्ट्रक्चर फंक्शन ऑफ लीफ दैन हु इज परफॉर्मिंग द फोटोसिंथसिस इन दीज स्पेशल प्लांट्स द स्टेम इट गेट मॉडिफाइड इन टू ग्रीन कलर्ड स्ट्रक्चर एंड दैट पर स्टार्ट परफॉर्मिंग द फोटोसिंथसिस नाउ इन अदर अडेप्टेशन दे हैव ब्यूटिफुल अडेप्टेशन दैट दे हैव लेस स्टोमेटा और दे आर हैविंग संकन स्टोमेटा प्लीज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वर्ड विद मी नाउ देयर स्टोमेटा इज प्रेजेंट इन यूजली स्टोमेटा इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द एक्सपोज सर्फेस हेयर Stomata is present into a the this deep depression, right? Here the leaves, जो हैं, they are not exposed properly. So stomata, they are present inside, and in this in this depression, in this pit. there are present few bristles jinko aap kaante bhi bolte ho kaante like structures and what they do they trap water they trap so these are our stomata which are present deep inside area and here are the bristles so they trap water and well as keep moisture so due to moisture presence of moisture transpiration rate is रेड्यूज यूजली जो हमारे स्टोमेटा होते हैं वो एपीडर्मल लीव्स जो है एपीडर्मिस लेयर के साथ एक्सपोज होते हैं बट हेयर द स्टोमेटा दे आर प्रेजेंट इन अ डीप पिट इट दे आर प्रेजेंट इन अ डीप डिप्रेशन विथ दिस काइंड ऑफ स्टोमेटा विच आर प्रेजेंट लिटल इनर साइड एरिया दे आर नोन एज संकन स्टोमेटा राइट स्टोमेटा कैन बी प्रेजेंट ऑन द स्टेम और दे कैन बी प्रेजेंट ऑन द modified leaves so these plants are second another third adaptation they have uh, included that these desert plants these zero phytic plants they are well adapted they are basically well adapted for they have adapted their timing of opening 
and closing of stomata in the normal plants which have sufficient amount of water stomata open during day time and stomata they close during night time but here the stomata open during night and close during the day time because if they will be open agar aap imagine karo agar stomata din mein open hote hain to utni hi zyada transpiration hoti hai transpiration ka matlab hai water ka loss hona so those stomata which open during the night and they close during the day time they are known as coto active stomata these kind of stomata they are known as coto active stomata during night now with the opening of stomata gaseous exchange definitely take place but temperature is very very low so transpiration will be reduced then another adaptation they have they have special photosynthetic pathway if you recall in uh, photosynthesis we discuss c3 c4 and cam pathway which is called crassulation acid metabolism so during night time in these cam plants these are usually a speciality of desert plants during night time carbon is fixed aur jab wo carbon fix karte hain to ek intermediate compound bana lete hain beech ka jo ki मॉर्निंग में वो कंपाउंड को चेंज कर लेते हैं ग्लूकोज में क्योंकि दिन में दे आर फर्स्ट थिंग दे आर स्टोमेटा इज क्लोज सो गैशियस एक्सचेंज इज नॉट मच सो इन द नाइट टाइम दे फिक्स कार्बन इनटू एन इंटरमीडिएट इनटू अ मिडिल कंपाउंड एंड दैट कंपाउंड इज फर्दर चेंज इनटू टू ग्लूकोज ड्यूरिंग द डे टाइम राइट सो प्लांट्स विच लिव इन वॉर्मर कंडीशन very very uh, warm condition they usually use c for pathway we uh, if you recall 11th standard we said that c for pathway is very expensive process because plants they have to use their energy as well as c for plants they have special kind of chloroplast they show cranz anatomy right so these are the different arrangement different adaptations they are adapted by the desert plants quickly we will see again leaves they are reduced so that transpiration can be minimized they have sunken stomata right stem is modified into green structure so that perform photosynthesis stomata they open during night time and close during day time such stomata they are known as coto active stomata now if they they follow special photosynthetic pathway which is known as cam and in this uh, they fix carbon during the night time into an middle or intermediate compound which change into glucose during the day time as well as if those plants which live in very 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 warm condition they use special type of anatomy which is having two types of chloroplast this is called cranz anatomy in which the bundle sheath the xylem and phloem around xylem and phloem there is a wreath like arrangement means there is a cover around the uh, xylem and phloem that is what we discussed in 11th class also right so this was about the desert plant third adaptation it is seen in the mammals which lives in the cold climate now if you very carefully observe the features or the structures of mammals which live in cold climate they have smaller extremities extremities means structure which protrude out from the body jo bahar dikhte hain aapko jaise aapke ears ho gaye arms ho gayi which are coming out from the body so those mammals which live in cold climate they have these small small structures jaise unka pinna jo hai ears short honge snout unka jo mouth hai that is small arms limbs that will be smaller like uh, if we compare foxes which are found in the colder region 
or desert region you will found that the pinna they are bigger in the desert region arms are bigger in the desert region as compared to the foxes which are living in the colder region see a uh, reason is very simple the more bigger will be the structure more heat will be lost right and animals live in warmer area definitely they want to uh, remove their extra heat from the body but animals which live in the colder area wo utni hi heat ko conserve karna hota hai unko that is why they have smaller extremities and this adaptation is known as allen's rule or uh, there is the uh, basically another uh, rule which is also known as bergman's rule so bergman's and allen's rule they say that mammals which live in colder areas they have smaller structures coming out from the body these are called extremities why because so that they can conserve the heat within the body to keep themselves warmer they don't want to remove maximum amount of heat from the body ne once uh, they are uh, similar to this allen's rule that mammals in the cold climate they have short extremities there is glogger's rule also uh, this name was given depending on the name of the scientist that animals living around equator region जहाँ पे सोलर इंटेंसिटी जो है सबसे ज़्यादा हाई होती है दे हैव डार्कर स्किन एंड वेल एज फॉर कलर इज ऑल्सो डार्कर बिकॉज विद द वेरी हाई इंटेंसिटी ऑफ सोलर रेडिएशन मोर एंड मोर मेलन इन इज सिंथिसाइज सो वेन दे आर एक्सपोज टू सन लाइट एक्सपोज पार्ट गेट डार्कर एंड डार्कर एज यू नो दैट बेयर्स पोलर बेयर्स दोज विच आर फाउंड इन पोलर बेरिया एरिया दे आर वाइट एज कंपेयर टू दोज विच आर फाउंड इन द इक्वेटर एरिया सो दिस इज नोन एज ग्लॉगर्स रूल एंड मैमल्स लिविंग इन द cold climate they have short extremities that is known as allen's rule in the polar area in the polar seas you know that um, uh, aquatic mammals in polar seas because there is lot of lot of cold so how they how the mammals they have adapted themselves like uh, uh, there is a seal they have a thick thick layer of fat jisko aap bolte ho blubber it below uh, thick layer of fat is present below the skin and this act as insulator to reduce body heat to reduce body heat basically so in polar seas aquatic animals uh, like seals they have thick layer of fat thick layer of uh, fat below their skin and this thick layer of fat bachcho isme se question aata hai so please mark it carefully this thick layer of fat is is known as blubber and it is present below their skin which act as insulator to reduce the body heat okay now there is these were the morphological adaptations in plants in kangaroo rat as well as in the mammals in cold climate now there is the physiological adaptations and the example of physiological adaptation we are going to take example of humans which uh, is very commonly shown when you move to high altitude when any person it visit to any high altitude place जब आप कभी बहुत हाई एरिया में जाते हो लाइक आई एम गिव यू ए वन एग्जाम्पल दे आर दैट हाई एल्टीट्यूड ऑफ रोहतांग इट इज़ ग्रेटर दैन द थर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड मीटर 
राइट रोहतांग पास इट इज़ प्रेजेंट कहाँ पे है ये रोहतांग पास मनाली के पास में है एंड मानसरोवर इन द चाइना कोपाई तिब्बत वहाँ पे अगर आप जाते हो दे आर ग्रेट हाइट एरियाज हैं ये हाई एल्टीट्यूड एरियाज हैं जैसे ही आप वहाँ पे पहुँचते हो पर्सन एक्सपीरियंस एल्टीट्यूड सिकनेस आपको धीरे धीरे आपको लगेगा नोजिया शुरू हो गया है आपको बहुत वीकनेस फील होगी आपकी हार्ट रेट इंक्रीज हो जाएगी हार्ट पाल्पिटेशन आपको फील होंगी राइट सो वाई दीज सिम्टम्स वाई योर बॉडी इज शोइंग ऑल दीज सिम्टम्स वेन अ पर्सन मूव्स टू हाई एल्टीट्यूड लाइक नोजिया फैटीग हार्ट पाल्पिटेशन ये सारे सिम्टम्स क्यों आते हैं वेन वेन यू ऑब्जर्व दीज सिम्टम्स दिस इज ड्यू टू एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर जैसे ही आप ऊंचाई पे जाते हो और ऊपर 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 जाते हो आपका एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर क्या होता है लो वी नो दैट द एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर इज लो एट हाई एल्टीट्यूड राइट एंड एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर अगर लो है वी नो दैट लो atmospheric pressure means body does not get enough oxygen so slowly person dheere uh, dheere dheere your body get used to or start acclimatization matlab apne aap ko adapt karna shuru karti hai and stop experiencing altitude sickness but dheere dheere it it takes time it takes time so basically that during that time you feel nausea you feel weakness you have high breathing rate so how does body compensate to this low oxygen availability your body uh in there is the increase in breathing rate sabse pehle to aap jo aapko feel hona shuru ho jata hai breathing rate increase ho jati hai agar aap sab ne kabhi dekha ho vaishno devi uh ya fir any high area mein jab aap walk karte ho chalne jate ho chadhai chadte ho to aapka breathing rate increase ho jata hai so you need not to worry this is how your body is adapting to the low oxygen availability now there is more and more production of rbc or kyunki oxygen availability kam hai to agar jitna zyada hemoglobin oxygen ke sath bind karta jayega kami aati jayegi so aapki body decrease karna shuru kar deti hai binding affinity of hemoglobin right so by it uh, it uh, first thing it does is increasing the rbc production and then decreasing the binding affinity of hemoglobin and third it adapt by increasing the breathing rate this is a very well known well observed physiological adaptation which is observed in human beings right now if a person if a organism it is how they survive in very 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 cold condition now we know that in the colder condition the physiological activity slows down kyunki hamare enzymes usually work nahi karte hain but still there are animals there are bacteria there are microorganism which can survive in the कोल्ड कंडीशन तो ऐसा उनमें क्या है कि दे कैन सर्वाइव दीज एनिमल्स दे हैव एंटी बेसिकली दे हैव स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ प्रोटीन्स एंड दीज प्रोटीन्स दे आर नोन एज एंटी फ्रीज प्रोटीन्स दो प्रोटीन्स विच हेल्प द ऑर्गेनिज्म to survive in the freezing environment in the very very cold environment they are anti freeze proteins they help the organism to survive in cold condition right then extreme hot condition if the temperature gets beyond limit we know that in high temperature proteins ko kya hota hai proteins they get denatured so in lower organism jaise ki aapka archi bacteria hai one of the very famous example of organism which can survive in 
वेरी 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 हॉट टेम्परेचर इसको मार्क कर लो बच्चों नीट का क्वेश्चन है आर की बैक्टीरिया इट इज़ फाउंड इन हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस इतने ज़्यादा टेम्परेचर पे इसकी प्रोटीन्स डी नेचर नहीं होती नो बिकॉज इट हैज थर्मोस्टेबल प्रोटीन्स विच फॉर्म द एंजाइम्स राइट सो बेसिकली इट हैज अ स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ प्रोटीन्स सो वन ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ आर की बैक्टीरिया इन विच दीज प्रोटीन्स दैट वी गेट दैट इज द थर्मस एक्वेटिकस दिस बैक्टीरिया हैज दिस थर्मोस्टेबल प्रोटीन्स एंड इट कैन सर्वाइव एट अ टेम्परेचर विच इज हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस वी रिक्वायर दिस दीज प्रोटीन्स ड्यूरिंग द पी सी आर पॉलीमरेज चेन रिएक्शन सो इट वी गेट वन एंजाइम फ्राम दिस आर की बैक्टीरिया एंड दिस एंजाइम इज नोन एज टैक पॉलीमरेज बिकॉज इट इज गेट वी गेट फ्राम थर्मस एक्वेटिकस दैट इज वाई द नेम गिवेन इज टैक पॉलीमरेज ये बच्चों आता है पेपर में क्वेश्चन कि टैक पॉलीमरेज फर्स्ट थिंग इट इज़ यूज इन पी सी आर क्योंकि पी पॉलीमरेज चेन रिएक्शन में एक स्टेप ऐसा आता है जहाँ पे हमें हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस पे वो स्टेप ऑपरेट करना होता है अब हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस पे काम करने के लिए आपको प्रोटीन्स भी उतनी चाहिए सो दीज प्रोटीन्स दैट वी गेट दीज एंजाइम विच वी गेट फ्रॉम द आर की बैक्टीरिया थर्मस एक्वेटिकस इज नोन एज टैक पॉलीमिरेज नाउ सम पोइकिलोथम्स लाइक रेप्टाइल्स दे शो बिहेवियल अडेप्टेशन सो वी हैव फिनिश्ड द मॉर्फोलॉजिकल देन वी फिनिश फिजियोलॉजिकल नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बिहेवियल अडेप्टेशन जैसे कि क्रोकोडाइल है अगर आपने क्रोकोडाइल को कभी ऑब्जर्व किया हो इट कीप चेंजिंग देयर पोजीशन डिपेंडिंग ऑन हाउ मच हीट दे वॉम है ना पॉकिलो थम्स का मतलब होता है कि कोल्ड ब्लडेड एनिमल्स मींस देयर बॉडी टेम्परेचर चेंजेस अकॉर्डिंग टू एक्सटर्नल बॉडी टेम्परेचर राइट सो दे चेंज देयर बॉडी टेम्परेचर अकॉर्डिंग टू एक्सटर्नल कंडीशन सो वेन देयर बॉडी टेम्परेचर फॉल्स After certain limit, तो crocodiles क्या करते हैं They go out in the sun and they stay there and this is called basking in the sun. कई कई बार अगर आप winter में कभी भी देखो जहाँ पे crocodile points हैं usually आपको crocodile बाहर मिल जाएंगे pond के या river के right? They keep uh sitting in the sun and this is called basking in the sun and that is their adaptation so this kind of adaptation is basically behavioral uh, adaptation when the body temperature keep start rising they again then they either move in the shady area or then they move into the water body so that that depends on the external condition lizards or insects they are so famous for the behavioral adaptation what they do they burrow under the soil to escape heat they usually uh, escape themselves from the surface heat by keeping themselves in the soil so few animals are very famous because these animals uh, these few species they make basically burrows in the soil they make burrows in soil to hide as well as to escape and to escape from the ground heat so bachcho these are the adaptations which different animals they adapt morphological physiological and behavioral go through these examples very carefully because neat always keeps you on toes from these kinds of small 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 lines right so please keep yourself energetic drink lots of fluids and keep studying